No, it's just. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the lady? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you guys for joining us. We are live right here at the Washington High School LSC meeting. As you can see, we are sitting here in front of a full house. Um, a lot of students and parents have uh, come to this meeting. Um, they've come here right now to uh, try to find out what's going on. Um, the LSC has called an emergency uh, meeting to vote on the principal contract. And... Uh, This is a copy of the agenda. Beatrice Castaneda. Here. Maria Don. Here. Dr. Eric Turd. Here. David Irondano. Here. Tina Perez. Here. Kevin Gallant. Here. Alexander Gomez. It's me present. Kimberly Torres. Here. Miranda Montes. Here. Caroline Perez. Here. Luz Matos Flores. Here. Sue McNamara. She will be on. Um I'd also like to make a motion that we move uh, public comment up or at least part of the public comment up. Yes. Yes. We would very much like to talk. No. So our voice don't matter. I don't understand. Well, Chair, we have four yes, zero abstain, seven no votes. Motion fails. Please no. let us know we can't hear back here. Motion fails. So we can't talk. What was the vote? the vote? What was the vote, Tally? Four yes, zero no, seven abstain. Motion does not carry. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. 
those in favor? Castaneda. No. Maria Adan. No. Kimberly Torres. Yes. Luz Matos Flores. Yes. David Arandando. No. Amanda Montez. No. Sue McNamara. Yeah. Tina Perez. No. Alex Gomez. No. Caroline Perez. No. And Chair, we have three yes votes, zero abstain, <laughs> seven no's. Motion carries. Motion failed, excuse me. After the vote. <laughs> wow. No, she has to stay. No, she has to stay on. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Quiet it down. Yes, she does. Quiet it down. If you're a student, it is your meeting. Yeah. Just as a reminder, you have two minutes. I will scream out 30 seconds when there's 30 seconds left, and then thank you when your time is up. And remind you at all times, please be respectful. Thank you. 
Ray Martinez. Also, another one, this same child that was attending George Washington, which is my child, not once while he was in George Washington was his 504 plan ever done to this day, which there is a lawsuit because of that, because he is a diabetic, and not a medical 504 plan was ever done. So now, if you want to put him again for four years, you have a medically ill child attending George Washington High School, you have to be the one following through making sure that he has the medical attention needed. Yes. So regardless of right. that, guys respect their time. Regardless of that, the comment that really gets to me is when a staff puts their hands on your child and then Mr. Gallic did not follow through protocol, through protocol to call child protective services 30 when seconds. something like that happens, which is court mandated. Sure fault, Gallic. Hey, respect your time. True or false? There's no question. There's no question. We're both documented case here. We're both aware of this. And my boss is to your left. He's all aware of this. Okay, this is just another. Still the principal of the school. I have responsibility for the time. Time roll, Jay. This is going to be like the next year around the end of the school. The next school year, probably, I believe it is. When my children started here back in 2011, this school was in disgrace. Rich Martinez, I'm a pastor here on the southeast side. I'm a former member of this local school council a long time ago. I understand the politics of local school councils, but I'm here to support the student body and the community of the southeast side. And uh, everything that I've heard and everything that I've read and studied confirms that Principal Gallic has done a tremendous job on behalf of the students and even the staff and extending himself to outside of the school, to the outside community. And so, uh, Principal Gallic, I want to commend you on your work. It speaks for itself. The results speak for themselves. And as far as the local school council, uh, the decision that you made here, unfortunately, has a negative impact on this school and these students, and it also has a negative impact on the greater South East Side. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Daniel Estrada. I was a former LSC chair for Bowen High School for two years. Uh, so I know what it is to be a chair. I know what it is to talk and make promises and do the best you can. In your case, Mr. Gallic, the proof is in my kids. Michael graduated. Christopher's next. Melissa is a junior. My daughter, Felima, is getting ready to come in. My other son, Anthony, is getting ready to come in sometime in the future. I would like to have you 
as a principal, I understand that they made a decision. They did not tell us as a community what was going on. I feel misrepresented by the LSC. Okay? I know. I know. I know the rules that you have to abide by. And I can assure you, you did not abide by them. Just by the show right now. And I'm telling you right now, it's my kid's future you're messing with. It's yes. our kid's future you're messing with. You should have communicated with us. You should have explained to us. The least you could have done is explain to my kids why. And you did not.
and we see how much of the LSC is worth the actual card of the LSC. This is very sad to be considered. Tell me to cheer up, but he's gonna be. 
Let her pass for two minutes. Let her speak. Let her speak.
It's not too late. I'm smart. I want to read two emails. Or David. December 1st, from me to Alex Gomez and CC on the email with all the people that he represents, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Alex, today the teachers are taking a yes no vote to retain the current administration. Rose has taken to a vote based on the results of today's vote, and I'm assuming they will do the same. Are you planning on having a similar vote for the non teachers, the staff that you represent? We have a mic. How are you planning to vote on this issue? No response. Today, at 1 o'clock, another email to Alex and all the people that he supposedly represents. Today, Gallus see me taking a vote to renew Principal Gallic's contract. You decided not to have a yes-no vote similar to what the teacher did. I respectfully asked how you planned to vote last week, but you have not responded. While I cannot speak for everybody you represent, I am asking you to represent me and the majority of the others by voting yes to renew Principal Gallic's contract. This week, I received a letter and have heard rumors that you will be transferring schools. If any of that is true, I am respectfully asking you to immediately resign as non-teacher rep on the LSC. By planning to transfer, if true, you would no longer have any direct interest in the future of our school and may not 30 be seconds. in the best interest of the remaining non-teacher staff at GW. By resigning now, you would allow us to elect a co-worker who would more accurately represent us on the LSC. Would you like to respond? Wow. Well, well, wow. how about it? Ten more seconds. That's it, right? Respond. Yeah, I guess not. Respond. Respond. We have our answer. We're leaving anyway. No response. This is response. Response. Right here. Oh, yes. yes. Carol Bernitas. Carol Bernitas. Oh, we need to go. I'm Carol Bernitas. Microphone, please. I'm a parent. I'm a resident. I'm a taxpayer who pays taxes for this school to exist. I'm also a Minuteman alumni. Way before Patriot. Now, I had a couple concerns. I was able to take them to Mr. Gallup. I was able to talk with him, not at him, and not against him. I came away with a different point of view. I see what he has to go through. And I want to tell you something right now. This LSC has not given any of us details of why you do not want to renew this contract, which I think you owe it to us. If you don't, the only image, the only thing that you are showing these students is a civics class in backdoor Chicago politics. Yes. Why are you walking away with the mic? Let her talk. I'm a lifelong resident and a home office owner of the Hegwish community. Um, I had the pleasure of seeing my youngest son graduate and be a part of the largest graduating class in GW's history. It means a lot to me because I am also an alumni. I don't want to cry. Okay. I'd like to speak on the part of being a member of this community. Okay? Mr. Gallup's first year, my youngest son, okay? 
I was fortunate enough to begin working here at a time when some great transformation was happening under Ms. Gonzalez as far as safety and 30 security. seconds. Fortunately, after Ms. Gonzalez, the LSC chose wisely and hired Mr. Galley. Progress has been tremendous in regards to safety, student self-esteem, test scores, AP and honors classes, attending graduation rates, and teacher development, to just name a few. Tenth Ward, my, my plea is to you. If you want progress in our ward, such as new businesses, property values, increase, investment, we we need not to stop the progress of our neighborhood public schools. Let's not go Thank back you, Mrs. Zagari. Let's keep moving forward and invest in our yeah. You know what I want to know? I want to know why we're here. Instead of trying to renew his contract, we should be thinking about how to improve our ACT scores. We should be thinking about how to get people, more people, in college. Yep. That's what we should be thinking. We shouldn't be thinking about renewing this great man's contract. Because we know he's a great man. Everybody knows he's a great man. Thank you. We need to do what's right. Gallant, you know personally that I come to you every year to tell you about the to tell you about what our students want, what I want. What did I tell you? That we need technology classes, we need a culinary class, we need a Japanese class, another language class. You were offering that. You somewhat gave that to us. You gave that to us. And that's because you're a great man. Everybody knows that. I want to know is why are we here? I want to know why they're not giving us a response. I want to see where is your evidence and see that this man is not a great principal to run this school. Let me increase that. Let me give you the rest of my time. Let me hear your response. Where is your evidence? Show me. Answer it. Answer it. Answer it. 30 seconds. That's all you got. Yeah. You're going to have a lot less. Shame on you. Oh, yeah, I said that. So, you know. Answer it. Answer the question. Represent our community and answer us. The community is here. We're listening. You got your chance. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Jenny. Her time has started. Of course it has. I'll give you half my time to give us a response right now. Take half that time. Because we're here for no reason. He's an amazing principal. Who we got amazing teachers. So why are we here? What is the point of being here to get rid of him? An amazing guy. I came in here as a freshman and I told myself I wanted to drop out until I realized how good these teachers were and how good the principal was. I came in and I got bullied and it stopped. Because of him, because the teachers who had my back. So why get rid of him? Let me come back to school and get bullied again? Let people come in and rule this school, what he worked so hard for, what the teachers have worked so hard for? Why take that away from us? Why take that away from him? What's the point? Answer the question. We're listening. One reason. That's all we want. Walk out. Walk out. So this is what you teach your students how to represent them? Yep. Where's the answer? We're waiting. Waiting for a response. You got a chance. The community is watching. Answer. 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 Answer.
much. Thank you very much. Um, I know a lot of faces. A lot of you guys are my students. Um, it really hurts my heart to be here today. Um, I'm going to speak not as an alderman, but as somebody from this community and somebody that is also an alumni of Washington High School. Um, many of you know that I worked for 22 years at Adams, and I, Adams is a feeder school to Washington. So I've watched what's happened here. I was a counselor. Uh, seven years ago, five years ago, I watched as parents and kids came to my office and cried because they had to come here. And parents would beg me and say, please, 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 maestra, no escuela, you know, they didn't want to come here. <laughs> no escuela, Washington. <laughs> uh, they, kids didn't want to come here, am I right? Right. Yeah. I watched the transformation. I've watched what happens. You, the teachers and faculty, and administration here has transformed this school. It's not just about Mr. Gallick, it's about the teachers in this building too. They've worked together. Despite whatever what's ever happening here, they've worked together to propel and push you guys forward. I'm really proud of that because the lady in the back that said, schools are the hub of our community. It's why people move here. It's why, hey, I'm gonna move in that neighborhood because I wanna send my kids to that school. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I've been coming to LSC meetings for a while and listening to what's happening, and I've been listening to both sides. And what I see, and this is no disrespect to anyone, it's a bunch of adults that can't get along. Woo. Yes. Yeah. 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 that is sitting at this table, I respect them with the utmost respect, and I mean it with, from, from the bottom of my heart and from sincerity. And every single person took this job because they care about this community and they care about the kids in this school. No, wait, 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 let me finish my sentence. Hey, Somehow, that got lost in translation. And I wanna to say to you guys sitting here tonight, when you get elected to an LSC, just like I was elected as your alderman, you're supposed to be the voice of the people. Yes. Woo. For the past two months, and I've shared this with all of you guys, I have been inundated, especially in the past couple of days, I have been inundated. There's no better pulse to be taken than what the kids tell me. And the kids tell me everything. Go, Right on, sister. <laughs> they're proud to come here. And they're proud to come here because of teachers like you, Dave. And they're proud to come here because of principals like you, Kevin. And they're proud to come here because of teachers like you, Alex. And I... And, and Miss Malone and everybody else here. We can't lose track. We can't lose track of what people in this ward want and what teachers want. I'm just curious, how many te how many people, how many faculty members are here? So, okay, so a, a, a lot. If I, I want to ask a question. If you want Mr. Gallup to stay, can you, if you're sitting, I want you to stand up, I want, I want to see. Back up here. Back up. Back. Stay yeah. here as your principal. I want to see. Faculty. Faculty, Faculty members. How many you of you want to took a vote. You took a vote. You took a vote. So I want to say one more thing, and I know that you don't have to, but I really, really believe that you guys owe these people an explanation as to why you voted the way you did. Yeah. says you can't answer the questions we're asking I'm speaking as a mother here of a senior at the school 
who will be graduating this year and be at college bound. I'm saddened and disappointed, afraid that we may be late, but I hope not. I'm a lifelong resident of this community and a graduate of this high school. I care about the impact that this will have on future students. While the city is a home to many high schools, our ward isn't one with such luxury when it comes to public schools. I became lightly involved last school year and more this year, and I see the lack of parent participation. Sad sadly, the LSD members, while they are misrepresenting all of, oh, sorry, sorry, while they're misrepresenting everyone, they have been here. And that's the truth. So we don't know what their reasons are because we weren't present to question them. With that said, and I know you're not gonna answer me now, but just like Alderman Garza said, we deserve these reasons. We deserve them, you represent us. You are our voice and the students. More importantly, if the kids feel that the staff, because it's not just Mr. Gallick, it's his staff, his vision, everything, the directives, we have the right to know why he got such low scores. And also, Mr. Gallick, I want to know if all this wasn't going on, would you still not be seeking a renewal on your contract? Of course I'd be here. Yeah. Yeah. 
yo tengo 15 años viviendo en esta comunidad y desde un principio mi miedo era, como decían algunos, que mi hija viniera aquí por todos los problemas que se escuchaban, tiroteos, gangas, problemas con todos. Mi hija está aquí en el IB Program y desde que ella entró, nosotros hemos trabajado junto con ella, con los maestros, con toda la comunidad de oficinas y usted ha hecho un buen trabajo. Si usted no renueva su contrato con la escuela para seguir apoyando a todos estos niños que están aquí y los papás que están aquí, les está dando la oportunidad a ellos de que lo vencieron. Y no es justo si todos están apoyándolo incondicionalmente. Yo lo apoyo, agradezco el trabajo que está hecho y como he leído y he estado viendo, el incremento, como comentaron, de eh, graduados y que van a colegio y las becas que han obtenido. Y estoy muy orgullosa de que mi hija sea parte de eso, se va a graduar este, este próximo año. Y tengo otra hija que va a venir y también yo no quiero que venga a una high school donde va a haber problemas y que en lugar de progresar se vaya hacia atrás. Entonces, bueno. We need to get the right leaders in position 
so that our voices are heard. Thank you. We are all a part of this community, and I am a student here, and I'm only a sophomore. But you affect my life every day because this is my education, and this is all of our education, and we come here every day to learn, and we we come here. I don't know, I feel like <laughs> but you affect our lives every day because we come here. You impact our mind. We learn, and you, your mind shapes our mind because we come here to expand everything that we learn. And seeing how you are making your decision is not a good example at all. Because one day we could be sitting there being in that position, and that is not good because we don't want to be that way. We need to be adults, and you are not showing a good example because we are young adults and that will one day could, could be us because this is our community and we live here. I don't know, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sarah Campos. I'll tell you what, 
I live in the community, I go around the stores. I've never heard students talk so highly, speak so highly about a school. You hear them at the grocery stores at peace. 30 seconds. You hear them at the 7-Eleven, at the gas station. And students are constantly talking about how well Washington is doing. And it's not just the students, it's the parents, it's educators, everybody that works for Chicago Public Schools. And you're doing a great job. And whatever you end up doing, I applaud you.
vote, we vote, we vote. Today, you've demonstrated to any future candidate that no matter how good you do, how many changes you make, positive changes you make, it's not good enough. It won't be accepted. You guys have to go. You have to go now. This, this will go further than today, the damage you've done. You understand that? They need to resign now. Resign. They can resign. They can resign. So before I speak, I would like everyone to know because I'm sure pretty much all of us have seen that email that the teachers make us sign this petition and they poison our minds. This is all completely me. This is coming from me as a student who has been here for four years and Mr. Gallic has been here. And I thank him for creating the school that he has because I'm going to graduate next year. And I remember when I was in second and third grade across the street at George Washington High School, my mom would pick me up early because of the gang violence going on at this school. And so far, I was terrified of coming to this school and I was ashamed of coming here. But with Mr. Gallic, I'm proud to say that I'm graduating next year from George Washington High School. And I'm not sure I could have done that with another principal. And as far as the email that went out, because I'm pretty sure all of you have seen it, every teacher named in that email is so passionate about their students, and so is Mr. Gallic. And for you to drag some of my teachers through the dirt, you're slandering their good names. They have never said a word to me or any of their students about this petition. Because it, you can see the girl started her petition. Where is she? Amina? She started it. Not only of the teachers that you stated have said it. And as Mrs. Gary said, this school was terrible. I was scared to come here. And I am no longer feeling scared. I feel so safe in this school because I know Mr. Gallic has made this school incredible compared to what it was the past few years. And for the teachers that cannot speak or do not wish to speak, 30 seconds. you guys are awesome. You know, I love all of you. You're <laughs> yeah. There's no reason for you to have been treated like that, Mr. Leonard, Mr. Brody. Everyone who was in there, I, my heart goes out to you because I know you guys are not what, whoever made that letter was. And I guess you think her name was Tina, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, like, my brother went here for the years that I was in sixth grade, and like every day he would come back, and he'd have another story about like gang violence and how he totally punched his skin, now how he was like bleeding out, and how like this cop pushed him against the locker. Yeah, he was bragging about that, and I was pretty horrified, and I was like, why would you ever be so proud about being in such like a heinous place, you know? Also, I want to get back to that thing. I think it was totally like disgusting. Like that's the only word that you would not hear our words before you decided to vote on what you thought that we wanted. I don't understand how the LSC can represent the students and the teachers when the students and teachers are here representing themselves Amen. and they're right. saying what they want to say and you're still not hearing it. Also, oh God, I'm just keep going back and forth. So, another thing. We always see those game things that are inside the textbooks and we see the broken desks and we see all those tags that are in the bathroom. Those are scars, scars of a different Washington. The Washington that didn't have Principal Gallagher to be there and change. Gallagher has brought so much change. There's brought so much 
self-motivation. I used to lie about what school I went to when people would ask me where I went. Because I wouldn't want to say I went to Washington and other kids said I went to Jones or I went to like Lane Peck. I was just embarrassed about, I was, I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed about going to Washington. And now I can say that I'm graduating from Washington. And when people try and slander it, I say it's not what you think anymore. There's Gallic there. So I'm not really sure why like a room that's packed, literally packed, there's no more room. We had to get chairs from other classes to get more people in here. And we can't change your minds? Like, that's just heinous. It's heinous. Can you speak up? Azucra Garcia. Mike. Okay. Uh, in this point, um, I want to say something. You not hear that that kid all right here is quiet. He said, "I don't know where. I don't know where is your decision because suppose you are, uh, you are a." Uh, Representing. <laughs> No hay nada de lo que a lo que vinimos. Estamos diciendo lo que nosotros queremos, pero en la otra junta fue lo mismo. Que viniéramos a votar, si, vota, si, si el que lo queríamos a él, votamos por él, los maestros votaron por él, los estudiantes votaron por él y ellos no han escuchado ese voto y esta vez va a ser, va a ser lo mismo. No, ¿Para qué nos hacen venir si no quieren nuestro voto? Los niños están aquí, todos los muchachos, tienen sus corazones quebrados por culpa de ustedes, no digo culpa total porque quizás él me cometió un error, pero fíjense todas las cosas buenas que él ha hecho, porque todos los maestros están contentos con él, él está trabajando con los maestros y todos están trabajando bien, entonces por favor consideren todo, todo eso. You got a timer? You got a timer? Yeah, let's see. Timer. See if he's doing it right. Okay, I just want to say something. I give a thought that I just want to graduate from here this year. And I have two, two more, uh, more sons that are coming here. And uh, I'm going to consider that because uh, this is not right. And uh, I'm going to consider all their options because. Uh, you the principal goes, my, my daughter and my son are going to go somewhere else. My, my son is an honor roll student, my daughter too, but I'm not going to come here if they don't give me stay here. Mm -hmm. Thank
Yeah. Uh, Hi, my name is Mary Azores, and my daughter Catherine Azores, or Katie, is a senior here at Washington. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Daly. At first, I was not a fan for different issues, but I'm going to share a quick story with you all. My daughter Catherine did a project. And I learned a lot about Mr. Gallant. I'll be honest, I typed the project word because it was a dictation. Um, I learned about Mr. Gallant, where he shops, his family, and my daughter absolutely loves you. I do not agree with you, Tina, putting that letter out. Bullying, if you want to talk about bullying, you can ask Mrs. Garza, who started a bully patrol at Jane Adams, that my daughter was a foul Everybody here loves Mr. Gallant. There has been so many positive changes in this school. I'm not gone here next year. I still live in this community. I shop here. I go to church here. I live here. You're not listening to the students. I'm asking that you resign from the LSC. Maybe I need to go on the news about what you're doing to the principal and the administration in the school. has done in order for you to get rid of him. Every teacher, 84, 86% that work for this man every day, want him in the school. I want him in the school. Parents want him in the school. We all want him in the school. I want an answer from you, Tina, and the rest of the LSC, why you're getting rid of this man. I've been in the school for eight years. When my son was here, this school was horrible. I had to pick him up from school, worried about him getting shot, stabbed. My daughter feels so safe in this school, and it's all because of the administration here. Every teacher that has worked with my daughter in the school is wonderful. My daughter has never been bullied by a teacher. My daughter would be here tonight, but she was doing her homework. Okay, and what last thing? You have students taking their ACTs. Anybody that knows my daughter know that she's stressed out. You know that, Mr. Jordan. Um, my daughter is worried about the teachers going on strike, and she's also, I'm still talking, and she's also worried about the principal. She's not going once. She's not going twice. Right here, right here. I need a microphone. She's over here. Stop trying to bully people. Let her speak. All right. I just now want to say that I'm here to compliment Mr. Gallich for your great work that you've done. I have a, I'm here as a community member, as an educator for 21 years at Jane Adams, and as a parent of a freshman daughter, which I brought her here, and I was very, I was just like Ms. Garcia said, I was like, should I bring her not to go to public private school? But I brought her here, and you know what? She loves it, and I love it too. And I think that he should stay, and we're not going to ask why the members are choosing what, because they're not going to answer us. So I want to know, what can we do to keep you? He needs to stay. Yes, there is yes, yes, there's room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Oh, no. I'm an educator, and I know we always try to do our best. And we, if, if he thinks he's done so much great improvement in the last four years, imagine what he can do for the next few years. Yes. 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 Ask me. Every, I, I've gone through that too. Now we're going to change the money with it. When my daughter's a freshman, no. I'm thinking about it as a parent. I don't want, I want you to stay, and I want the community to think about you're going to have tax money. This school's going to go down if we have a different principal. Yes. 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 I know, my, I know you guys are doing a great job. And I know this because I still speak to the people that graduated that are from this community. I talk to so many people in Spanish and English, mid church, and they all say what a great school this is. This is a school of choice, which it was not one in one day. Yeah. 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 Oh, yep. Over here.
You took the time and effort. Your credibility is quite low at this point. You took the time and effort to displace three teachers. You took that time. Why did you take that time to write to the parents? If you felt this group is not to your heart, why didn't you send it up to us? Don't you think we need to know? Well, you have proof here that we are involved. So the next time you take that time again to write another letter, how about sending it to the parents? I would like to give the board my two minutes and I would like a response from one from all of them actually as to the reasons why you're getting rid of such a dedicated principal. So here are my two minutes. We've done the microphone, one by one, please. You want to hear us, now let's hear you. They're more qualified than me, and that's why I'm not going to give you the answer. They think they're more qualified. They think they're more qualified. Will they reconsider a revote? Yes or no? Will they vote or resign? Anybody willing to answer? Revote or resign. These are some great representatives of our community. Real good. <laughs> Mr. 30 seconds, can you at least give us a response? What is he doing? Nothing? 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 between the students, the teachers, and the counselors. I was ready to drop out of high school because of all the crap people were giving me for leaving my old school. <coughs> because they didn't know that my home was gone. That my family was separated. It is this school that pushed me to do everything I could to get into college. And because of them, I'm getting paid to go to college. I get that $3,000 check in the mail. It is because of this principal, him talking to me, him asking the counselors and the teachers to understand me. I don't want my siblings coming to a school where this man isn't there. I don't want to see a bunch of students see so great get knocked off the pedestal. Yes. This is not the end. Their vote isn't final. There's an appeal process. There's a way of getting around what tyrants think they can do. Yes! Yes! So I would like as many people in here to feel 
figure out what it is it. you can do to the field. Let you. him finish. Yeah. All right. All right. Woo! Okay, she's Don't the one. Oh, there. She's that one right there. <laughs> Joseph, microphone, Oh, microphone oh, back there. Oh, my Everything's been great. Let's keep it that way. My mom and dad went to school too, and so did my kid's mother. Let's keep it good. Principal's doing a good job. Let's stay that way. So don't worry about it. That's the way it goes around here.
Why are Latinos keeping Latinos down? Somebody answer that for me, please. Yes. Yes. please. My parents come from Mexico to come and find a better life, which I think I have accomplished. You're part of that accomplishment. You are. I tried to bring my son to speak to you tonight, but I guess a final tomorrow morning at IIT. Computer engineer at the end of this year. Ms. Perez, this is what I want for your son, Michael. I want to be his role model. I want Michael to look up to me and say, yeah, I want to be like Mr. Perez. Please, reconsider what's happening here. We, the Latino community, deserve better than what you're giving us. Thank you. Mr. Gallic is on top 
even if no one's gonna stop me. I promise you. Like, at the end of the day, I would rather be at home doing my homework. They have ACTs tomorrow, right? Yeah. Why are they at practice? Because I have Hebrew on that year. We've never had ACT practice, and he brought that. They brought all, all these things to the school that they brought that I hear about. Like, because of Mr. Alec, we have wonderful teachers. And my teachers push me every day. Like, Miss Jordan, she signed me up with this tip, chick tech thing. It's about like um, engineering and science. I learned how to make a mobile app. Like I learned in just two days, three days, I mean, how to make a mobile app, and that was pretty cool. And then I found out later that the teacher, Mr. Boshin, um, he he also teaches how to make mobile apps and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm saying that he has good teachers here. And the fact that I have to sit here, I wish I could keep you guys for a whole another hour just so you could feel the waste of time that this really is because we shouldn't be here contemplating if he should be principal. There's no contemplation. Like, he's a he's a wonderful man. And honestly, I love Mr. Gallic. I love him as like a family member because he did so much for my family. And I promise you that you guys are making like the worst choice you could ever make. to thank everybody for uh, for coming out. You know, uh, it's kind of funny. It's, uh, it's supposed to be a very sad day, but uh, for a principal, uh, it's uh, quite a pleasure. Quite a pleasure to be among you. Always has been. Always has been. And uh, number one, I'm committed to being here and serving you for as long as I can. I'm committed to uh, keeping it positive and trying to protect you from uh, you know some of this adult world. Okay, and I'm not trying to say that to the kids here in a disrespectful way. Just that, you know, I came here to try to keep it focused. Uh, the adults in the building, we work together to try to keep it focused for you. Uh, but just uh, one a quick closing note. Um, in my uh, second year here, it was right about this time of year, um, we felt like things were going okay, but not as well as we wanted. And, and one of the things that we were concerned about is that not enough people were involved in the change process. And so, a few people in this room know what I'm going to say. We, talk, we said, okay, it's not enough. And we were talking about improving teaching and engaging students. It's not enough that we just become leaders ourselves. We have to engage everybody else in a movement. And guys, this is it. This is the movement. People are activated. This is all we've ever wanted. You are making your teachers very proud. Teachers are making each other very proud. And the suggestion that our parents in this community are not involved, uh, we have to uh, re-examine that. Uh, because from day one, I have always felt that the students at this school come to this school ready. And the parents in this community serve our students well. And I'm so proud to be connected to Washington High School. I'm just sorry that I don't actually know everybody's name and that some of the mommies and daddies in the room we haven't really met before, but it is such a pleasure to serve you. And I will continue to serve you with pride. My boss is right over here, and her boss is right over there. Chicago Public Schools is represented.
I, I'm asking all of you around this table, listen to the passion of these children's voices. for joining us um, right now the LSE meeting is actually coming to an end we're going to uh, cut out our stream um, we're actually gonna go up to uh, the LSE to see if maybe they'll say something about what the reasons were um, but so far we got no answers Hey, would you guys care to uh, tell us a little bit about what your rationale for voting uh, to dismiss the principal was? Would you guys like to uh, tell us a little bit your, your response? Are you on the LSE? No, no, see, that's the Put that away. Well, what do you mean put that away? This is a public meeting. I'm allowed to record. We're trying to find out a little information from the LSE about what the decision, the rationale for the decisions were. Uh, we get to find out. We get to we get to ask questions. This is the media lady. We have the right to find out. We have the right to find out. Yes. 
Yeah. Right, what are you guys afraid of having the public find out? It's a public meeting, right? We're still in a public meeting. But this is still a public meeting, correct? Would you guys like to be interviewed and tell us a little bit about what your decisions were? Why you guys decided to get rid of a principal that has made a lot of progress in the school? Any comments? The people would like to know any comments? Would you guys like to share your rationale for the decisions you guys made? Would you like to share any comments? No comments? Uh, we tried to get a little information from the uh, LSE members in terms of what their decisions were uh, for the decision to uh, vote to uh, remove uh, the principal from the Washington High School LSC. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of people, parents, students that are still in the meeting here. They're still talking about what the next steps are going to be. Um, a lot of people are noticeably uh, still a little bit of upset. Um, yeah, live, live stream, live stream. So we're going to actually talk to a couple of students here. Um, I'm sorry, I have tears in my eyes. I just, it was an emotional day for me. So um, I just graduated last year. I'm currently a freshman at UIC, and I love my experience. Um, when I first came here as a freshman, Miss Gonzalez was uh, the principal. And, you know, I know some people that said she was a really good principal, and that's nice. You know, she did do an okay job, but I saw her maybe a handful of times. Maybe, uh, Four or five times, you know, she stayed in her office. Mr. Gallup's first year here, I he was always in the hallway, always, always, always talking to the students. He knows me by name. He talks to me. He was talking to my parents every report card, telling them, you know, how good I did and encouraging us. And I'm not the only student who does that. He does that for all the students here. Um, I was in the IB program, and you know, we set aside a day just to fill out college applications and scholarships and get all that work done that we didn't have time to do because we have such a busy school. And you know, we needed Gallup's approval as well as teachers' approval to like put aside that day, and he gave it to us, and that's why I am where I am now. I received, I received the scholarship at UIC, and I'm able to go there, and I have this opportunity because of this amazing event. And for the LSE to misrepresent us like this, it, it makes me wonder, you know, like, take me back to history class when um, we were learning about, uh, you know, the Patriots and the American Revolution, you know, no taxation without representation. Where's our representation? It, it makes me so mad. And I just, I hope that when Saturday comes around that the LSE reconsiders their vote. And I know I will be here. I know my family will be here. This is our community. And for them to misrepresent us like this, we need to take this into our hands, our own hands, because they clearly don't listen to us. Thank you. Thank you.